Now that you are finally made it into part 2, but it took like one minute. So we're gonna be doing lighting. So what I'm gonna be doing is going to this um word icon, clicking color, picking environment, open, and I'm gonna be using this um sky photo by Black Plasma Studios. Actually very good. As you guys can see, this is the lighting we're gonna be using for this video. But to tell you. So let me just go up. Okay, I'm gonna enable ambient occlusion. This works for light. Lower it down. Down GPU? Nope. Maybe just like this would be good. I'm thinking. Yeah, why not, to be honest? What I'm gonna be doing is adding a light. Because the sun is coming from over there, I'm gonna be needing to move the sun just right here and having it so you guys can see pointing to this player like this and more like this and i'm gonna be maybe what else can i do i hate these like dots things so is there a way i can remove this what happens if I remove this? Ah, oh, sorry, I can't. Oh, well, you know what? Okay, now let's say. What else can we add? What else can we add? Um, I think this is it. I'm not going for a way too complicated scene. One thing I might do is lower down the focal length again. Because I like having a big perspective. Maybe. Just like this. It'll be good. Because I'm also going to be adding in text to this character. So I want a little bit of space. Yeah, from here we're done. So I'm going to be rendering this real quick. And I'll see you guys in Photoshop for a PR. Doesn't matter what you use, it's still going to be the same. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Now that you have made it into Photoshop, all we're gonna do now is color correct it first. So what I'm gonna add is a few uh, vibrance. Just bring this up a bit so it doesn't look that bland. Now let's see how it impacts the sky. Not that much I see. So let's try and add a black and white. Set it to illumination or whatever it's called. Would it change it maybe somehow? Sadly, no. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the pink then while I'm here. Lower the opacity of it. I'm gonna add a color balance. Set it to maybe blue. Actually, no, I'm gonna set it to cyan. A mix of like this pink load of opacity for this also and i'm gonna add another layer which is gonna be blue so let me pick the brush blue okay so what i'm gonna do now is actually color the sky so we sort of have a better looking one if what i'm doing even makes sense let me see Okay, soft like good. So I'm gonna keep brushing certain parts like here, 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 and here. What else can I do it? Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna click the mask icon, set the brush to black, set it to hard. So we can remove like the blue parts from parts like this, just like this. So tap right here, hold shift, and tap right here. What else can I do this right here maybe? To this tree, just like so. To the arm. Um, 
right here so why not and what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna add another vibrant layer on top of it and bring up the saturation maybe the vibrance a bit too and there we go it's starting to look much more better now so i'm gonna add a curve bring it up maybe lower no just like this let's see what else can we add an exposure a bit yeah there we go so before the exposure and after so Control s again just to save this i'm going to name this photo cc and i'm also going to add this bubble text thingy which is also going to be in the description and i'm just going to have it set just hmm I'm gonna set it on top of his head. Or oh, is that as you can see because I used the hard brush, you're gonna have these like small details that look weird. So if you go again to the mask, set the brush to black, or set it to soft, you can fix this. Maybe the tree also has that. Yeah. There you go. More taps, 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 taps. Go up. Get those text. I'm gonna add a new text. We'll let me select it. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I have a text over download. Let me type in pixel. Maybe game. Um. I that I'm needing to download the font of it. So I'm gonna type in You're so bad. Just cause we can. And it's called Pixel. Wait, what? Yeah, Pixel Boy. Yeah. You're so bad. And I'm gonna add this. Doesn't look the best, but if you take your time with it, you can make it look much more better than this. Yeah, so bad. What else can I add to this? I'm going, yeah. Make sure this is actually converted into a smart object. If I can find it. Yeah, convert it into a smart object. It's gonna have like this. Oh my god, I need to to my windows. It's gonna have like this small icon, like below it. So once you click blur, gush and blur. Click OK. You can click this like icon. Bring up the bus size. Make sure it's at the soft. And just click plus you don't want it blurred. Like the background, it should be okay with being blurred. Move just about here, because why not? And is there anything else I would like to add to this? I think no, if you want to do wind lighting, you can, but I'm just going to keep it simple for the people who kind of struggle with Photoshop and stuff. So yeah, this is the end of the tutorial, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Want to support us? Our Discord server should be up in a few days or even tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.